What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, dude. Now, we talk about Nintendo a lot on this channel and many other gaming consoles as well, but what's interesting is, is that recently we saw Nintendo release the Nintendo Switch Lite and pretty much like, a, I guess, an updated version of the Nintendo Switch, the original one. People don't like calling it the Nintendo Switch 2, whatever, but when Nintendo actually released those, they actually released a statement as well, and they said that they weren't replacing like the Switch and Switch Lite was not replacing the Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo 2DS lines. So that means that Nintendo was still going to create the 3DS, the 2DS, the XL versions of those as well, but those haven't even been updated in a long time. So that kind of made me think like, what would the Nintendo 3DS successor be, you know? And I love the 3DS and 2DS. I own every single Nintendo console that ever came out. So I kind of came up with some things on what the Nintendo 4DS could possibly bring now. <laughs> These are just all like mock-ups. These aren't like 100% set in stone. They're not even that good, I'll be honest. But hopefully through time, I'll get better and better. I use the Nintendo 2DS Excel as kind of a base model to kind of see what I could kind of mock up because I do think the successor to it would possibly look more like a 2DS Excel than a 3DS Excel. So, and the naming the 4DS or 40, whatever it's going to be, I don't think that's necessarily going to mean it is a 40 experience. It's just, you know, to differentiate from the 3DS line. Maybe they'll do something with 40, but it's just going to be a gimmick like the 3D toggle thing was on the 3DS. But the biggest change in my opinion would probably be the design. So now this is a reach of the first thing I'm going to say. They may remove all the buttons on this thing except like the power button, the volume buttons. But I could totally see them kind of streamlining somewhat of like the Nintendo Switch and also kind of mobile platform gaming, which does not necessarily require joysticks or whatever. So I could see Nintendo tapping into that market because mobile gaming is pretty much taking over the world. Less and less people are buying physical consoles or physical portable consoles, mostly because our phones and our tablets can make and play very, very great games that are even better graphics and whatever than, you know, just the PlayStation Vita can or a 2DS or 3DS. So I could see Nintendo, if they want to kind of keep continuing down this path of selling games and all that, they would honestly have to kind of catch up with this mobile platform gaming, kind of what the Nintendo Switch has been doing recently. They really knocked out of the park there, and I feel like they're going to continue that with the 4DS eventually. And because of that mobile platform gaming, whatever, I, I feel like they're going to remove the buttons, but they're going to make the top screen also touchscreen. So the bottom ones one was always touchscreen, but the top one will also be touchscreen. They're both going to be capacitive, not resistive. And like I said, they can put emphasis on mobile gaming, but also streaming as well through these portable consoles. You know, Twitch is going up. People want to stream their games online. And not only do they want to stream their games to play, like you know, something like Steam or whatever, but also to upload their gameplay and whatever through Twitch or something, which would be really cool. And in my opinion, I think the 4DS will still be able to play 2DS, regular DS, and 3DS games. Obviously, 2DS and 3DS games are the same exact thing, but I, I think they're going to keep that kind of going so they can still sell those games because, you know, it took a lot of time and money to develop them. I don't think they just want these people just to, you know, just not be able to buy them anymore. So, so I do believe that the 4DS will still essentially be able to play those games. But 100% it will not be able to play Switch games, you know, that will be focused more on the Nintendo Switch. And I don't think the 4DS will be like a Switch Lite, but I do think there's going to be some characteristics of the Nintendo 4DS that will not be, you know, translating over from the Nintendo Switch, in my opinion. Things like higher graphic games, maybe certain software updates, I don't know. But I do believe the battery life will definitely be an improvement on the 4DS coming from a 3DS Excel, but maybe not from a 2DS Excel. That's such a minor detail, there's no way to even verify that, but... Another huge thing, it won't have the same software as a 3DS. I think it's going to have, you know, a huge update in terms of the software. It's going to look somewhat similar to the Nintendo Switch, but maybe like a more like light version of that, maybe a more basic version, but it's still going to maintain a pretty decent app store, you know, things like that for you to be able to download those games from the specific stores and not have to like go to the store, pick it up or whatever. But I do think the software will also be a huge improvement. And like I said, I think Nintendo kind of wants to encompass their whole mobile gaming effort. And in order for them to do that, I think they'll have to make some sort of console like this that, you know, kind of puts the emphasis on those games that you can download straight from the app store rather than going to the store and pick it up. And we've seen Nintendo really kind of test these things with like, like with Pokemon Go many years ago, but also like Mario Kart and all those different Mario games, Mario Run, that Nintendo has made for mobile devices. Dog, I'm telling you, I see Nintendo really essentially making a 4DS. I don't know when it's going to come out, probably not until like a year or two from now, but this is kind of what I'm thinking. I made a few renders, like I said, hopefully you guys like them. <laughs> They're pretty basic at the core, but you know, just this kind of gives us an idea. Hopefully we hear more rumors and stuff about it. And you know, my renders will also improve by in quality eventually too, but that's pretty much it, man. If you have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. 
Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. And hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then. Thank you.